In today's video, we'll try and help you improve your weak foot when it comes to shooting. So you can score, well not bangers, but goals like that. And look, you might be a very good finisher, but if you can only really use your strong foot to shoot, it might be holding you back more as a player than you actually realize. So in today's video, I'll give you some tips and some drills on how you can blow some life back into that dead weak foot of yours when it comes to shooting, using tips that I've done myself to turn my weak foot from something I only used to run with into something that I can shoot with if I'm desperate enough. Because I don't use it that often, let's be honest. <laughs> Why, Jay? Why do I have to have a good weak foot when it comes to shooting? Look, like I said before, you might be a great finisher. You might score a lot of goals using your strong foot only, and all is fine. But here's the thing, if you face a defender that's even remotely good, he or she will quickly realize that, hey, you're super one-footed. And if they manage to close down that angle, because every time you get the ball, you need to get it to your right foot to take the shot, then you're super easy to close down. So if you learn to improve your weak foot when it comes to shooting, you'll be twice as dangerous because now, instead of only being able to go one way, you can go both ways. And the world of opportunities is opening up to you. So that's why you want it. And because you're now able to go both ways and finish, you'll be an absolute nightmare to play against because the defenders will know that no matter what they do, you'll be able to punish them because you can go right but you can also go left and take the shot. And that will leave them in doubt and they might hesitate a little bit. And that time and space is something that you can use to your advantage. And speaking of time and space in the box, it's absolutely vital. You want as much of it as you can possibly get. And let's say that the ball inside the box is positioned great for your weak foot, but you can only use your strong foot. Then you will have to take a touch or two to set it up for your strong foot so you can take the shot. And that's a given that the defender hasn't then closed down the angle for you to shoot with. And by setting up that for your strong foot, you just lose a little bit of that valuable time and space. So having a strong weak foot for a striker is absolutely important because it makes you much harder to shut down. And you want to be hard to shut down. But to be honest, guys, that's a lot easier said than done. And the only way to really get good at this is to practice a lot and then practice some more. Now, I like to break it down into three parts. You start with the accuracy, then you add the power, and then you actually need to be able to shoot while beating a defender and actually being in motion. But if we start with the accuracy here, right, the easiest way to do it is to take a friend, go to the pitch, and then start doing long and short passes using your weak foot only. But if you're alone, you can still work on this, in which case you can take a goal and something to rebound the ball back from, where you make a pass, you control it with your weak foot, and then you put it into the goal. And I know it sounds super, super simple, but it's basically to teach your brain what your foot should do in order to control the pass, set it up nicely for the shot, and then put it where you want it. And you should basically just do this until you can consistently hit the target with a nice technique. And when you're good at that, you want to add power. Because here's the thing, you might be able to get the ball on target, but if your shot is too slow and wobbly, it'll be easy pickings for the keeper. And let's be honest then, what's the point? But what you can do to increase your power is to actually take penalties. And I know it sounds stupid, but hear me out. Because here, you want to focus on hitting the side areas of the goal with a good, hard shot. Because that means you can get it on target and you can put some power behind it. And it sounds a little bit difficult at first, but start focusing on hitting the target where you want, and then slowly, you can increase the power for every shot you take. Score, a little bit more power. Score again, a little bit more power. And eventually, you'll be able to combine accuracy and power, and then we're talking. But now things get a little bit tricky because now you want to be able to do it with accuracy and power, but after beating a cone, if you're alone or a friend that acts as a defender. And I know it sounds tough, and it is, but it's a great drill into making shooting from different angles with your weak foot a lot more natural. Now what you do here is that you approach the defender or the cone, taking a few touches, then you throw a little 
body faint to put them off balance. Then you take a touch to set up the shot and you slot it home into one of the sides of the goals where it's harder to save for the keeper. Now, what's important here is that when you take that touch away from the defender, you keep the length and the distance of the touch in mind. Take it a few meters out so you can take a couple of steps and then still strike the ball with a good balance so you're not out here because it's your weak foot and it already sucks a little bit, then it's gonna be really hard to put it on target with some power. And also when you do the drill, it's very important that you not only go one way for your weak foot all the time. No, you want to make this as natural as possible. And in a match, you want to be able to switch from your weak foot to your strong foot immediately. So remember to go to your left, to go to your right, to practice doing both things at the same time. It needs to be natural, otherwise it doesn't work. So natural is a key word, but another key word is time. Because look, unless you're some sort of rare gem youth prodigy that will learn the entire thing in a day, in which case you're really annoying, but unless you're that, you basically have to relearn your entire shooting technique from scratch. And that takes time, no matter what. And guys, this is important. If you want to do anything with your football, if you want to take it to the next level, having a good weak foot for shooting isn't just a nice to have. No, if you mean business, you want to go places with your football. Having a good weak foot is a need to have. And if you want to go places as a striker, it's expected that you can score with both feet. So don't make the same mistake that I make where I waited until my mid twenties until I realized that I actually have two feet, maybe, just maybe I should start working on my weak foot. No, start early and I guarantee you will make you a better, more dynamic footballer. So guys, if you know the struggle of having something that you really need to work on, like me and my weak foot for instance, let us know in the comment section what you'd like us to teach you next. And maybe you can also check out the playlist right down there. It's full to the brim with awesome tutorials on how you can improve as a footballer. Now, of course, also, while you're at it, don't forget to go to unisportstore.com, check out all the latest boots, maybe get yourself some new training clothes so you can feel good while you're on the pitch. And maybe also, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel with the notifications on to join one of the biggest and best football families here on YouTube. With that said, get training. I'll be signing off. Cheerio.